Okay. Um, give me just a moment while I put out notifications, and we will get started. Okay, there we go. Everything looks good as far as I can see. Um, so yeah, um, hi. And welcome to some more Celeste. <clears throat> Where we are not playing modded Celeste. <laughs> Onward to the Golden Ridge. The Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. So, uh... First of all, um... Sorry for the, uh... The late start. I forget. There's a breakable wall in one of these. I just don't remember... Where I don't, this is a level that I don't replay often, so uh, this is a level that I'm not too too familiar with in terms of where its secrets are. There we go. Oh, great, you again. Well, well, didn't expect to see you up here. I'm glad you're still in one piece. I see you made it through the hotel. Did you meet Mr. Oshiro? Oh, I met him all right. He chased me out of there after I cleaned up a bunch of junk for him. <laughs> that sounds like a fun morning. Oshiro's a lost soul, dear. That place is much more than just a hotel to him. Don't make him your project. You know what I think? I think this mountain drove both of you crazy. You know, you're not the first person to say that. Maybe you're right. How would I know if I were crazy? The way I see it, the mountain can't bring out anything that isn't already in you. But you gotta... Be a few crows short of a murder to live up here in the first place, right? Sorry, my uh, old lady voice is petered off. What are you even talking about? Oh, I'm just rambling like the old bat I am. Are you ready to give up? I know a shortcut back to your car. Back off, lady. I'm heading for the summit. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between stubbornness and determination, isn't it? You remind me of myself when I was young. Good luck, and mind the wind. Also, I just realized I put these in the reverse order. Sorry, stream feed's gonna be down for a sec. Um, there we go. Ah, yes. High wind. This level's main gimmick, I would say. It's not the clouds, it's the wind.
That was almost disastrous. Oh, come on. This, uh, this reminds me of a room from a Mega Man. I don't remember which Mega Man, but it, that room reminds me of a room from Mega Man with similar platforms. There we go. I really hope that I don't miss the, uh, the heart here, because I very much don't remember where this heart is. I seem to remember it being something really weird, though. Oh, hey, the strawberry room with the wind. I remember struggling with that room a lot. Oh, here's the, uh... Oh, that was unfortunate. I like the- I like this remix of this song. Gosh, I always forget just how tight the timing on that is. That was unfortunate. really weird. I don't know what it is, but something in my, uh, something around here smells like vinegar for some reason. This B-side room specifically really, like, messes with my brain for some reason. You'd think that it wouldn't be too bad, but...
There we go. Now the test of seeing if I actually remember how to, uh... The test of seeing if I remember how to actually get to the, uh, Crystal Heart. Hey, Miss Plutonia, how are you doing tonight? Or today? I don't know what time zone you're in. Welcome in. I'm Maddie. Doing some uh, Celeste as a little uh, in between game. It's 11 a.m. over there. I'm trying to think of what time zone that puts you in. Um. Nah, this is this is a repeat playthrough. I've played this game a lot, honestly. Because it. This game is a very important game to me, and, uh, it's, it's one of the very few games that I can say that I play almost yearly at this point. It's like a tradition of mine. Yeah, it's it's such a unique game and I love it. It's also where I stole my name from. Then you have officially done more than I have. I don't believe that I've actually finished any of the seasides or farewell. I think I did all of the B-sides once, but I do want to go back and actually do all of the seasides. Oh, this room. But I have done the first Golden Berry. I haven't done the, uh... There's a secret golden berry that you can get for doing, uh, the first level dashless. I haven't done that, but... Oh, come on! <laughs> but yeah, um... Most of the time I play, like, RPGs on here. 
but um, I just finished uh, God of War the other night and was like, you know, let's do some Celeste as an intermittent game before I play a near replicant. And uh, one of the reasons that I love playing RPGs is that I love uh, doing voices as well. Because <clears throat> I can do stuff like this with my voice. I always forget how to get this berry. Why did I just try to jump off like that? I definitely get the feeling that I've missed the Crystal Heart at this point, because I very much don't remember where it is in this level. No, wait, I want that strawberry. What happened there? Oh, I just didn't touch the spikes. But yeah, um, last night we did, uh, up through Chapter 3 along with all of the, uh, Chapter 3 B-sides. Or not Chapter 3 B-sides, we did all of the B-sides up to Chapter 3 as well. Oh, that was a mistake. There we go. Despite the fact that I've played this game, like, eight times. I still don't remember this level very well. <laughs> I need to go back down. this one. Oh. 
I don't know that I've ever actually gotten a consistent answer on how this, uh, on how this strawberry is intended to be done. Yeah. I, re I really want to get, they, uh, they actually did a, they did the soundtrack of Celeste on vinyl. And on cassette, and, like, it's so cool to me that they did that. I don't, like, I don't even have a cassette player, and I want the sound, I want the soundtrack on cassette. I'm really excited to see, uh... How... I'm really excited to see how Earthblade turns out. Because that's in development for next year, I believe. Hmm. <laughs> Man, yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've used a cassette player. Just because they're not- they weren't very common. Actually, wait, is this the- is this the Crystal Heart that's the Mario Brothers 3 reference? I think this might be the one where you have to, like, crouch on the, uh... Crouch on the white platform. That's the one? Okay. I couldn't remember if that was this one, or if the one that I was thinking of was the, uh... The one where you have to, like, climb the really weird cliff. But that's actually in the, uh, summit level to get one of the crystals. There we go. Oh, I'm so hyped for uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm hyped for, t like, I'm really excited for Earthblade, just because, uh, Earthblade is, you know, extra okay games, and, you know, Celeste is fantastic, and I love it. But, um... Yeah, I I'm, I'm very excited for the new Zelda game. Ex excited enough that I'm literally considering shuffling my st my stream schedule around a bit to try to fit uh, playing through Breath of the Wild again. <laughs> Uh, 
I have a bit of a weird question for you, uh, Miss Plutonia. Um, which level of Celeste is your favorite level? Really? Hmm. Completely unironically, I think you are the first person I have ever asked that question to that uh, has said Golden Ridge. Just because of music and aesthetic. Okay, that's fair. It's got good music and aesthetic. I think that my favorite level, just in general, is probably Mirror Temple. I don't know, there's, there's something about Mirror Temple that just, like, it gets to me. Maybe it's the, like, I don't know, it just resonates with me in a, in a way that, like, makes it very relatable. And there's the whole thing with the, uh, the dialogue in the, uh, background of the song. Which, if you've, if you've never taken a listen to, I highly, highly recommend it, because it's really interesting. Because there's like, there's like weird whispering in the like actual mirrored part of Mirror Temple. Oh, I did miss the Crystal Heart. Shit. Madeline, wait up. Nailed it. Theo, are you alright? Ugh, yeah. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna have to replay the level to get that, uh, crystal heart. A gondola! I've always wanted to ride one of these. It looks pretty old, but maybe it still works. I don't see any other way to cross this chasm. Let's do it. This lever looks important. Easy every time. It's probably gonna be a- or I was probably a gondola operator in a past life. Do you think this thing is safe? I'm sure it's fine. How'd it shake out with Oshiro? You were right. I shouldn't have tried to help him. Hate to say I told you so, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I need to go back and actually, I need to do Farewell, because, like, I've been, I've played modded Celeste maps, and modded Celeste maps are a ton of fun, but. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I should have listened to you. You didn't get hurt, that's what matters. The air's so thin up here, I can barely breathe. Okay, if we if we don't get a selfie on this thing, we're going to regret it. I can't even see the ground through the mist. 
How high up are we? Less panicking, more posting. What was that? Huh, looks like we stalled out. This is really bad. Maybe if I... Well, that's not good. No, this really isn't good. Madeline, you cool? Yeah, I just... No, I'm not cool. I can't, I can't breathe. You're having a panic attack. Why would you think it's a good idea to ride this stupid thing? Come on, don't take this out on me. Stay with me here. My grandpa taught me a trick for this. Close your eyes. Picture a feather floating in front of you. See it? Okay. Your breathing keeps that feather floating. Just breathe slow and steady, in and out. Fun fact, uh, this actually can help, like, su like, this helps surprisingly a lot. See? Easy every time. Feeling any better? I, I think so. Thanks for helping me calm down. How did you, you know we'd start moving again? Oh, I totally thought we were done for. Oh my god. Look at this selfie, though. <laughs> Less than a hundred deaths, though. Pretty solid. As much as I want to move on to the Mirror Temple immediately, I do want to go back and get the uh, Crystal Heart. I don't remember which chunk of the level it's in. Where does this start me at? I think it's I think it's before this spot. It's not like... I actually just don't remember where this is. Right at the start here. It's not over here. Gosh, I very much don't remember where this is. Uh, 
Um, give me just a sec. I don't want to be stuck on this forever, so I'm actually just going to pull up a guide. Okay, yeah, you are right. It's on the main path, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the double hidden area, because there's another breakable wall here. I like that uh, it's got a little crouching Madeline here. I never noticed that before. I thought it was part of the rock formation. And on the other side, too. Nope, not save and quit. I always forget that save and quit takes you out to the title screen. Turn the map. I need to do down diagonal there. This, uh, okay. I know that, like, nobody else is gonna have the same experience as me with this song. But, um, this song, this song specifically, uh, there's a modded level that I played forever ago that used the B-side remix of Golden Ridge. And, uh, I remember having to listen to this song for hours. <laughs> I don't- I don't hate this song, it just- it brings back memories of that. Oh, come on. But yeah, the modded Celeste levels are a ton of fun. Especially, uh, some people get really creative and add, like, entire mechanics to things. Like, there's this- there's this really cool, uh, modded level that comes to mind where, um, they've got these special crystals that, um, give you extra air jumps. And so the whole- the whole level is trying to maximize the amount of time that you're able to be in the air using the air jumps. Like, that's the whole level gimmick.
Oh, come on. That was so close. But yeah, like they... The other thing is that, like, I really want to- I want to try speedrunning Celeste at some point. Just to try to, like, learn some of the crazy advanced tech that Celeste has, like, demo dashing. And, uh, doing, uh, hypers and supers and whatever. Oh, come on. There we go. I nearly walked off the side there. <laughs> oh, that's that's painful. But yeah, I don't know. Usually like As cool as the modded levels are, sometimes they are very... Not... They're very much not built with uh, beginner players in mind. Like... You will learn how to do crazy tech. Like, I guess wave dashing isn't really crazy tech because it's required in Chapter 9, but... Wow, I'm going too fast. Oh, that was so close. Ah, yes, high speed wind. But yeah, cert some of the uh, some of the modded levels certainly suffer from a ROM hack difficulty syndrome. Oh, am I supposed to try to go over this?
Well, I say some of them do. Not all mods are, you know, these crazy... These crazy, like, you know, you need to know how to do stupid amounts of tech to be able to even finish them. Some of them are, but, um... The, uh... The mod pack that I will recommend as your, like, if you want to get into Celeste mods, the mod pack that I would highly recommend is, a uh, Spring Collab 2020. Which I actually have installed on my computer, so I can probably show some later. The, they, uh, they did a big, like, they did a big collab event for, uh, between a whole bunch of map creators, and they're actually organized specifically with difficulties in mind. So, save the post for that one, nice. I nearly boosted directly into those spikes. It is a small miracle that I am still alive. I don't even know how to do spike bounces, uh... Corner boost, like, the, uh, corner bounce, I think. I wanna say that it's called corner bouncing, but I'm not entirely sure. The thing where you, like, boost up into a corner and wall jump at the last second. So that you can, uh, get stupid amounts of height. That one comes in- that one is used a lot, but... <laughs> oh, I went I went through a I went through a uh, hyper focusing on Splatoon three. Uh, bit a little bit ago. I streamed it. A f I streamed it a few times. <laughs> Som sometimes you just get a hankering for some Celeste.
Oh, come on. I don't even fully remember how to do this room. It just keeps going up through the middle. And you just need to get that block out of the way. Yeah, whatever. I vaguely remember something similar as well. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. There's that. Okay, I think I got this. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah. They've got really weird timing, especially if you're going for low bounces on them. Oh, wait, I guess I'm just supposed to go over with the... Uh Like that. <laughs> Wait, how in the world are you supposed to get over that? Oh, you're just, you're just intended to do it. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, that always feels like I'm not gonna make it. Oh, wait, you have to save your dash. Wow, that is a tight jump. I don't usually do the B-sides on my uh, replays of this game, so... Oh, come on. One cloud jump in Summit Seaside where you have to get the perfect max height jump. I forget, they didn't do B or C sides for uh, Farewell, did they? It's just the one Chapter 9 that's super duper difficult. And also like four times the length of any other level. I don't even remember how you unlock C-Sides. Is it by beating Core B-Side, or is it by beating Farewell? There we go. Thanks for removing my platform, game. Wait, am I supposed to be doing these as I go across? Seasides are unlocked in core. Why did I keep doing that? I don't even remember how... Is the unlock requirement for Moonberry literally just, like, make it to where it is? Or do you have to do something specific in Farewell? Pretty much just getting to it. Wow. Threaded the needle.
Oh, am I supposed to go up diagonal there to grab the wall? Oh, come on. It's in the last screen that takes forever to beat. Then you go back through the whole room to get it. Oh, yeah, because you have to, like, turn off the electricity. And if you mess up, you have to redo the entire room, right? Didn't press up diagonal game, please. Okay, thanks for stopping by. feels like the stuff that, uh, it always feels like the stuff that requires, um, analog input is always really janky. There we go. Hundred and wait, is that less than what we got on uh, B side here? It is. It's quite a bit less, actually. <laughs> Game's like, hey, you've been playing for an hour straight. Put the game down. <sighs> oh man, look at this place. Feeling adventurous? Uh, I don't know. It looks pretty dark in there. More like a nightmare than an adventure. I'll just take a quick peek, snap a few photos. This place must be ancient. Theo, wait. My Instapix followers are going to eat this up. There's no way this ends well. Strawberry everyone forgets about, because it's very easy to forget. <laughs> Oh. 
How did Theo get up here? Uh-oh. This is Theo's phone. Don't panic, Madeline. Maybe it just fell out of his pocket. I'll give it back to him when I find him. Wow. I'm mad that I got that first try because holy crap, that berry or that yeah, that berry gave me so much trouble on a first playthrough. I like that berry a lot, actually. The, uh, the one where you have to jump at it at high speeds. Yes, this room. But yeah, I don't know, the... It might just be, like, the sort of... I don't know, this... This level... does a fantastic job... of, like... It really gives you that feeling of, like, the best way to describe it is honestly, like, feeling like you're in some place that you really shouldn't be. And I don't know, it just... This level just, like, gels with me very well. And, like, its mechanics aren't annoying.
Like, I don't know. It just... And maybe it's just because of the, uh... Like... I mentioned earlier the, uh... The, like, hidden lyrics in the, uh... Second half of this area's music, which we haven't gotten to yet. Oh, come on, really? And, um... I don't know, it just... It gets to me. Because it's... I don't want to... Like, I want to wait until we actually get to it to talk about it, but... Because it's really cool and, like... It's honestly one of the coolest, like, secrets in this game. Theo, there you are. Madeline, hey. Uh, why are you inside a mirror? I'm pretty sure you're the one in the mirror. What happened? Well, I was taking a nonchalant mirror selfie. You know, it's your boy Theo in this ancient temple, no big deal. Hashtag blessed. Next thing I know, I wake up lying on the ground. What does it look like over there? How can I find you? It's, uh, it's really dark and weird. There's... Wait, something's coming. I'm feeling a strong inclination to run away. Be careful, okay? I like the way that the task does this room, because, uh, if you enter that cutscene from this, like, X position, so, like, from that height, you actually, uh, will phase through the wall and, uh, stand up here. I don't remember if it's RTA viable or not, but... If I remember correctly, in the Steam version of this game, there's actually a, uh, an achievement for lighting all of these. I wouldn't know, I don't actually have the Steam version of this game, I have the, uh, the version from, uh, Maddie's, uh, itch.io page. I got it in a bundle. Though, honestly, I probably would have bought an extra copy of Celeste just to mess around with mods. It wouldn't be the first time.
But yeah, uh, just a warning. Um, I don't know how to phrase this without it sounding really weird, but um, the um, the second half of this level probably will make me cry. So uh, if I take a minute to read stuff or I get choked up, then that's probably why. There we go. actually remember It's really funny, you can, uh, if you do it right, you can, um, you can, like, frame perfectly bounce to keep your strawberry seeds alive. Or at least you used to be able to, I don't know if you still can. that Wow, compared to the other, uh, seaside room from the last chapter, that was stupid easy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend who also streams. I have a small story about this. Um, one of my friends, deb wait, I'm pretty sure it was their debut stream. I think it was her debut stream. Um, she was playing Celeste. And uh, she made it to this part. And uh, I made some comment in chat 
about this being, like, Cthulhu or some shit. And, uh, she responded with something along the lines of, uh, Damn, Cthulhu be thick, though. <laughs> and so, uh, in her, uh... Oh, please tell me I didn't just do that. I did do that. <sighs> Boy, am I glad that it saves the strawberries. And the fact that I got the cassette tape. Wait, I want to see if I can do this. Um... Actually, nah. Let's... let's not. Yeah, I definitely didn't mean to do that. I, uh... My brain was on autopilot and was like, Ooh! There's a secret here. But no, I need to wait until, uh... I've got the key for that block before I skip it. I am incredibly surprised I didn't get crushed. Hey Nautilus, how are you doing? Oh, this is what this opens, okay. Dead tired? Hmm. I'm sorry. Did you just not sleep well, or...? Also sore. Ah, oh, that's the worst. Ah, okay. So you got that full body exercise. But yes, we're on we're on my favorite level now, and uh there is a non-zero percent chance that as soon as we get to the uh as soon as we get to the um second half of this level, I will probably cry trying to read dialogue. Ate like one place of right rice today so far. Hmm. That was incredibly stupid. But yeah, like, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now we can go down here and unlock this to get to the heart.
I really like how you get that heart. Just because it's such a... I love the idea of grabbing keys from one spot and pulling them to somewhere else. You can grab keys meant for secrets to progress because it's too hard. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, where are we? What did you do to Theo? You think I'm doing this? That's cute. Sweetheart, this is exactly what I warned you about. <laughs> Catch me trying to wave dash. <laughs> don't try to make this my fault. You still don't get it. The mountain gave me this body, but I'm not the only creepy thing living inside that messed up head of yours. Don't like what you see? What a surprise. Shut up! I tried to stop you. Look into the mirror. All of this is yours. This temple might o this temple only magnifies the mountain's power. You're in control here, not me. I don't believe you. If you're part of me, why do you want to hurt me? Poor Madeline, always the victim. All I do is babysit you and you hate me for it. You're unraveling and you know it. You care so much about protecting me, why didn't you just explain what was going on here? Like you would have listened? You never gave me a chance. Please, just help me get out of here. Now you want me to save you? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Just be on my side here. Please. Stop trying to make me feel like a monster. You really want to know why I won't help? Because you deserve this. Still think you can climb this mountain? Shut up! I don't need your help. I'll do this alone. Wow, what was that dash? So, uh, yeah, I'm already getting choked up. Um, I mentioned it earlier, but, uh, this track has a, uh, this track has a, uh, hidden thing in it that is, um, it's got, like, hidden... It's got, like, dialogue in it, almost. That, um... I'm paraphrasing here, but it's, uh, something about, um... Like... 
I mean, I'm getting teary-eyed just thinking about it. Um. It says something along the lines of, um... Like, I look in the mirror and I don't even recognize who I see. And it, there's, like, this whole giant thing of, um... Like, there is a large portion of actual... Like, it's more than just that, but that's the basic gist of it, and I believe an actual line in it, but, like... I don't know. This this stage does a fantastic job of, like... Making you really feel that, you know? I don't know, you just... You kinda get... You definitely feel like... They... Like, Maddie and, uh... Lena Rain both... You know, have... Sort of, like... Intimate knowledge of... This sort of deal. Like, I don't know. Come on, I just need this guy to bonk, please. Oh, really? That's not even the one that has the strawberry behind it? I don't know. There's also... I know I'm overanalyzing this. And... Not... Like, you know, it's it's a level in a video game, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, like... It definitely... Sp it... Speaks a lot more than a lot of people give it credit for. This is all in my head, why is it so hostile? Those things are hunting me. I'm a trespasser in my own world. Theo's trapped somewhere in here because of me. If I give in fully, maybe the temple will let him go. Breathe. This is all coming from inside me. Get up, Madeline. Think of the feather. You can save Theo. Now here's this part, the part that everyone that tries to 100% this level absolutely dreads.
Which, uh, fun fact, this area over here is supposed to be where you go once you have, uh, gotten all of the... Once you've gotten all of the keys and all that. And, um... Funny thing is that, uh, you can... I don't remember how exactly you do this, but it's, um... You can get just barely enough distance. You might need to do a hyper, which I don't remember how to do, but... I don't know. One key. I remember there being an absolute ton of strawberries here. Oh, fun fact. Uh, on a actual fun fact, not a uh, sad or potentially sad fun fact. Um, in the uh. At least on the Nintendo Switch version of this game. Uh, there... I don't know if it still exists. I haven't tested it recently. But, uh, there was a bug that could cause your game to crash in this room. That, uh, I found by complete accident. Where, um, if you jump up around the corner here... And boost into the spikes... Before you can talk to Theo... Uh, the game will crash. If the temple's showing me who I really am, then I deserve this, don't I? Oh. That was really weird. It skipped a bar. Uh, skipped a box of text. Alex, you have to be. You have to stop being so hard on yourself. Who's Alex? Sorry, I meant Madeline. But my comment still stands. No one deserves this. Least of all you. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I can do this. Oh, see? That dialogue there. Oh, that I accidentally skipped. Shit. It was playing two dialogue boxes over the top of each other. But, um, you could boost into the spikes from down here. And, uh trigger the text box at the same time that you, uh, get, uh, hit with the spikes. Thank you. 
But yeah, I don't know. I just, this, this level as a whole, just like, it's one of those things where, like, I feel like I can relate. I can, I can definitely relate to being in... in a similar state of mind from time to time, but... That was easy. There we go. Trapped forever. think that I've got everything here. Yep, there we go. Oh, come on, really? Oh, yes, uh, Spoods helped me, uh, fix the coding issue on, on my game's text boxes, so, uh, that's been going well. Actually, uh, a little bit of progress. Hey, Lapis, how are you doing? Currently in my favorite level. You're doing. Aw, oh, I'm sorry.
had to take everything out to put everything back. This is gonna sound really dumb. Uh, remind me what a PSU is. Real airflow. supply unit okay wait you had to take everything out of Vi's computer to to uh, swap out the power supply that's awful I finally found you. I knew you'd make it. It wasn't easy. All those monsters are, are those monsters really coming from inside me? Madeline, that's a valid question. CPU power supply was behind the CPU's radiator. Man, it sounds like Vi's computer was put together very jankily. And I'll be happy to discuss how the monsters relate to your inner self. But right now, my inner self is real sick of being stuck in this crystal. Oh, right. Don't worry, I'll break you out. Well, this is a solid start, but... This crystal's like an expression of my negative psychic energy or whatever. Yeah, but how do we break it? If I knew why I trapped myself in this thing, maybe I could bust out. New, uh, the new motherboard was in an old case, bit too tight for everything. Big heat pipes, ah. Uh, I'm glad that I had the opposite thing when I was swapping out my motherboard, where I went from a shitty little tiny HP motherboard that is really dumb because it's a proprietary size, to having a full-size ATX motherboard. It's so nice. Or, well, I say full-size. I guess it's, uh, the... It's just an ATX motherboard. It's not a ATX full motherboard. It's in a normal ATX case. Uh, if I knew why I trapped myself in this thing, maybe I could bust out. But I don't. And I don't think I can get to the bottom of it while we're stuck in this nightmare dimension. Hate to say it, but you might have to... Theo, don't even think about that. I'm not leaving you behind. She has a normal ATX. Hell no, you better not leave me in this place. <laughs> it's gonna say you might have to carry me. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I really wish that I had the space for a full ATX case. Dang, girl, you can lift. Alright, you got this. You can do some really crazy stuff with uh, boosting into Theo. Crushing it. That door didn't stand a chance. Uh oh, I hope you know how to deal with these things. Wow, that was weird. Another one? Come on. K 
can you throw Theo at the Terraria thingy? <laughs> you can, they just kind of bounce off of each other, though. Oh, come on. I got slightly too fast of a speed boost off of that. I'm sad that we missed the chunk of dialogue where uh, Theo was like, I think all of these eyes are watching me. Because I tried to show off a stupid trick that doesn't work anymore. Stupid trick to tra to crash the game, might I add. <laughs> he is over here like, I'm helping. It's like, yeah, you're helping hold switches down, buddy. Now you're just showing off. Yeah, I am. I wanted that strawberry. Theo saves the day again. Why was the gate closed? It shouldn't be closed. Oh. I- it is a small miracle that I survived. So there's a really stupid thing you can do here, where, uh... Like that. We have to be close, I can feel it. A bit further, you can do this, Madeline. Nautilus, you were talking about Terraria thing. Here's the real Terraria thing. Come on. <laughs> I 
Reminds you of a certain Darkest Dungeon enemy. I haven't actually played a whole lot of Darkest Dungeon. I have it, I just haven't played a whole lot of it. Mmm. I always forget just how good the B-side soundtrack for Mirror Temple B-side is. Okay, see you, Nautilus. I think that this song specifically is one of my favorite, uh, like, songs in the entire game. Because this song is just... Mm. Should have dashed straight up. That's a cool room. I like that room a lot. Ooh. 
Wow. That was like a pixel perfect incorrectness. say that the genre of this of this specific track is There we go That was my fault. That was entirely my own bad timing. That was also my fault. <laughs> I've never been good at timing these. Also, that one was really dumb because I went straight into it. I want to watch that back in the stream real quick. What even happened there? It looked like I just phased through the moving block. Okay, I got hit by the, uh... I call these things spike traps because they remind me of Zelda spike traps. Oh, come on. Really? I just got unlucky with the cycle? <laughs> That is a very stressful dash there. Off to the second chunk of this level. I think it's only one room here as well. I think it's just this falling room.
Come on. There might actually be like two or three more rooms after this now that I'm thinking about it more. Oh, are you kidding me? That's a very rude room. That bonk nearly killed me. I don't know if that's how this is intended to be done, but it would have been really cool doing it like that. There we go. Catch me dashing directly into the side of the platform. Oh wow, you have to get a really big jump there. Don't mind me. That was cool as hell. You have to admit, that was cool as hell. It's the Temple Remix, featuring your boy, Mixmaster Theo. Oh, come on. That was entirely my own fault. I thought I would grab the wall. Oh wow, this is a bit tricky. This isn't canon, is it? I like how uh, Theo is concerned about the canonicity of our adventures.
I needed to dash into him. Oh. Wait, how did he even get bounced off? He just got bounced off. I think the game thought that he was in an invalid position. Yeah. It did. This one's clearly, clearly impossible. Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate, Lapis. Oh, that was so close. Do I actually have to carry Theo through this room? I do have to carry Theo through this room. I keep overshooting really simple throws. <laughs> I didn't know that throwing Theo into that actually worked. Theo, you're awake. Am I? I'm skeptical. I had a messed up nightmare. Yeah, about that. Wait. Oh, yep, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. That actually happened. Thanks for getting us out of here. Or out of there. I'm glad we were in it together. I don't know if I could have done that alone. How long was I out for? It must have been a few hours. Man, what a ride. Tell me about it. Are you okay? 
I mean, aside from the existential crisis? Yeah, I'm fine. Clearly this isn't a normal mountain. What's really going on here? I should have told you sooner. Back at the old ruins, a part of me escaped from a mirror. Part I'm not very proud of. I swear I dreamt it. Think the mountain made her real? Yeah. She's been haunting me the whole time. Ugh, I need water. She lashed out at, at Mr. Oshiro. I think she was the reason the gondola stalled out. And she was there, in the temple. Why didn't you say something? I wouldn't have gone into that temple if I knew this what this mountain was capable of. I tried to stop you. You could have mentioned that your demon doppelganger was on the loose. Come on, Theo. You know how crazy this sounds. I didn't even believe myself. Okay, okay. I understand. Next time, just talk to me, though. I promise I'll believe you. Okay. Why is it so easy for you to trust me? Seriously, you barely know me. Honestly? You remind me of my sister. That's adorable. What's she like? Oh, you'd love her. Actually, you might not get along at first, but you'd eventually love her. She's a literal rock star. She's a musician? That's so cool! Okay, she's not literally a literal rock star. Alex is just amazing at everything. She's studying to be a civil rights lawyer. Wow! How do I remind you of her? You both live so deep inside your own heads. Oh. Alex has this amazing internal compass. It's obvious that she'll get where she needs to be. I can see that in you, too. I wish I could say the same for myself. Who do you think built the temple? It looks ancient. It must predate everything else on the mountain. The resort, the ruins, the city. There's a lot of history here. Yeah. This mountain has meant so many things to so many people. I'm starting to understand why that crazy old lady lives here. You ran into her too? What's her deal? I think she's just a mean person. But she does seem pretty content living out here. Thank you, Theo. For believing in- for believing in me back there, I mean. Believing in you was the easy part. I wish I could have helped. It's pretty useless stuck in that thing. Every time I see that pedestal that Theo's crystal was in, I always think of the Yu-Gi-Oh card that's, um... There's a Yu-Gi-Oh card, it's, um... It's a spell card... <sighs> I'm forgetting its name. Ugh. I'm spacing its name. You actually helped a lot. Honestly, I couldn't have made it without your support. Your sister sounds great. Do I really remind you of her? Are you kidding me? You're the one who's dead set on climbing this mountain. And you don't even know why. It's classic, Alex. I'm just teasing you. Why are you climbing the mountain, anyway? You're right. I don't even know why. I just had to get out of my head. I'm stuck in a cycle. Preach into the choir here. I had many a soul-destroying day job. Working is fine, actually. I just... I'm going crazy. I can't stop thinking about dumb crap that doesn't matter. My brain fixates on these stupid things that happened forever ago. I should be over them. None of it even matters. I'm good at keeping up appearances, but the truth is, I'm barely holding it together. I'm sorry, that's pretty rough stuff. 
Can I help? You're already helping. It feels so good to say it out loud. You don't talk to anyone about it? No, not really. My mom knows I get depressed and have panic attacks. That's about it. No wonder you feel trapped. How do you cope with anything? I drink, mostly. And get mad at people on the internet. How about you? What brought you to the mountain? Just kind of bumming around, as usual. Started this new job in Seattle. I thought I finally knew what I was supposed to be doing with my life. But I hated it. So I quit after a week and hopped on a bus to Canada. I just felt this urge to get lost in the middle of nowhere. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize how flaky it sounds. It just sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. Not really. Everyone's so patient with me. Though I guess I am putting a lot of pressure on myself. People are always th people always think I'm comparing myself to Alex, but I swear that isn't the problem. I'm just worried that I'll never figure out where I'm going. You said you wanted to feel lost. Maybe you should just embrace that for now. Maybe. Would you mind talking about what depression is like? It sucks. Yeah, but what does it feel like? Alex struggles with it too. I really want to understand. We can, t we can talk about something else if you want. <laughs> Shit, I'm tearing up again. It's like, I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I can't see anything in any direction. It's claustrophobic, yet I feel exposed. I remember feeling normal, but now it just feels like it's out of reach, no matter how hard I try. Then again, I was probably always messed up. It just took something hurtful to bring it out. There must be something wrong with me. Whatever happened, I'm sure it's not your fault. I guess I thought that I could... I don't know. I'm just floating in this abyss, swimming in a random direction, hoping that I find something. That's really why I'm here. But I can't escape myself. I'm literally fighting myself the entire way. Maybe this is all pointless. Madeline, you just saved my life. That's not pointless. Yeah. Look, you're a good person. You're a little intense, but you're a good person. I think you're just trying to push out... push out of that rut that you're stuck in. That's totally legit reason to climb the mountain. Maybe. That's helpful. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I'm crying. Ugh. This part of you that's haunting you. Maybe she comes with the territory. So you think I'm stuck with her forever? Well, she's stuck with you too. That's not helpful. So, you want to destroy this part of you? Won't that hurt you, too? If I don't, she's just gonna keep bullying me. She says she's protecting me, but that's obviously not true. Maybe she thinks she is. She could just be some kind of twisted defense mechanism. I r okay. Um, so the first time that I played this game was before I figured out I was trans. Or, well, 
Before I accepted that I was trans, I should say. And, um... I don't know. Th this... I remember crying during this scene the first time I saw it. Which... <laughs> this is gonna sound really dumb, but, um... Before I really figured out that I was, uh, that I was trans, I, um, I didn't really cry at games a whole lot, because, you know, the whole stigma against it, which is stupid, by the way, but, I don't know, this, this game just affects me a lot, and it's part of why this game is so special to me. Honestly, who cares? She has so much control over me. I hate it. Maybe you can learn to control her instead. The feather helps a lot. Thanks for teaching me that. Just one of my grandpa's many nuggets of wisdom. Are you close with your grandpa? Yeah, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, that's just how it is. All I can do is stay positive, and live a meaningful life, because that's what he would want. I'm so sorry, Theo. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. What else did you learn from your grandpa? <clears throat> so much stuff. Actually, he was the one who told me about Celeste Mountain. He always said that this place changed his life. After I quit my job in Seattle, I realized how close I was to it. I felt like he was telling me to come here. Grandpa said that the mountain was special. Do you think he went through the temple like us? Do you think he understood the power of the mountain? He never talked about what happened here. I doubt your grandpa was as messed up as me. His experience was probably less... violent. He found the mountain before I was born. I don't know what he was like before that. I wonder what he learned about himself here. Why not take a vacation instead? What do you mean? Dude, you needed a change, so you chose to climb a mountain. Why not do something relaxing instead? Go to Hawaii, you're like, take a bath. Unironically though, sometimes just soaking in like, really hot water is super relaxing. I guess I feel like I need to accomplish something. Sounds like you have enough on your plate already. I guess it's kind of ex- I guess it is kind of extreme, but that's how I am. I need something to challenge me. And I can't just do something a little bit. It's all of me or nothing. Shit. This game continues to be more relatable than I remember it being. <laughs> you know what? I want to remember this night. Let's take a selfie. I thought you'd never ask. Every time, yeah. Honestly, it's- it's a problem. Like, it's part of the- it's part of why I, like, I start a lot of things, but I tend to, like, pick up stuff and then drop it very soon after. Just because, like... The- the best term that I've found for it is gifted kid burnout syndrome. Where, like, you breeze through so much of, like, school or whatever that you get so used to everything being that easy that the instant that you're hit with the smallest amount of resistance, you just 
stop. And it is the biggest pain in the ass. But, yeah. You know, despite everything, I feel pretty good right now. Have you never heard the term gifted kid burnout syndrome? Lapis? It's, it's, a, it's a wording that I stole from something else, so go ahead, but wait a second. You're going to reach the summit tomorrow. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to put this all behind me. I'll be cheering you on. We should get some sleep. Okay, good night, Theo. Thanks for being cool. What can I say? Comes naturally. Here comes uh, everyone's least favorite stage gimmick, other than the clouds and the wind. The northern lights are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Fuck the clouds. <laughs> Where are we? We need to talk. Okay. I finally understand who you are. You're not my true reflection. I'm not? You're everything I need to leave behind. You're cruel, paranoid, controlling. Why would you- why would you say that? No, it's okay. I understand now. I don't need you anymore. So you're just... abandoning me? I'm setting you free. We'll both be so much happier. You're so... so... so stupid! You think you can just leave me behind? You think you can blame everything on me? You think you're above me? Answer me! Calm down, please. Calm down? Breathe, Madeline. Use the feather. You're going to think about a feather to stop me? You're not above me! And you can't climb this mountain! It's time to accept that! <coughs> Madeline, what's happening? So there's a really cool secret in this level that I want to show off. If I can actually do the platforming to get to it. Also, fun fact, if you didn't know, these blocks are called Kevin. Wait a minute. 
I was about to say, why do I even need the, uh, why do I even need the Kevin block? Because I could have just wave dashed that. Oh, come on. That was so close. Also, really small detail that, uh, I love about this. I love that the, um, the respawn animation is always, it's different for every level. Yeah, I love this level too. That was really stupid. There's the cassette tape. I have no shame, I'm going to be using a guide for the Crystal Heart, because I very much do not remember how to actually do the Crystal Heart without a guide. Oh wait, no, you have to go straight up with that feather. And then you have to go, like, straight to the side with this one. Okay. It's up, left, down, right, up, right, left, up, left. Then up, right, down, left, up, left, right, up, right. Then down, left, up, right, down, right, left. Oh, shit. That was a miss input. There we go. Whoops, I tabbed out by accident. <laughs> the craziest thing to me is the fact that this, the way that you're intended to solve this, like, the way that you're intended to solve it is that you're supposed to take the birds from level one and save the directions based on their colors. It makes so much sense. I forget, you- this is just it in reverse, right? The last one is like it in reverse or something? Yeah, the level one birds that show you the way to that crystal heart. Flip it horizontally, then flip it vertically. And then all of it flipped. Oh wait, I almost missed the uh, the extra dialogue down here. I was so close. It's all over now. Why won't you leave me alone? I hate her. 
But she's a part of me. I'll never be able to get rid of her. And she was right. I couldn't climb the mountain. Oh, I totally forget. How do you do neutral wall jumping? It's like really precise. I don't remember how to do it. <clears throat> but you can use it to scale walls infinitely. Let go of the stick, the stick before you wall jump, and then immediately repress it, right? Gosh, you... Okay. It's really funny. Um... I used to be awful at the uh, at the feather, but uh, since I've played some uh, mods for Celeste, I've gotten so so much better. Had to learn that to get the no jump berry on stage one. I haven't gotten that one yet, but I've made it most of the way through stage one with the uh, no dash berry. Also, I find it really funny that this is the only stage in the entire game with split paths. one jump that's way too hard. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's on one of the moving... Uh, it's like in one of the moving block rooms, right? That's got like this really weirdly precise jump that you have to do to actually be able to do it. One of them was designed for speedrunners and good gamers who mastered the game. Oh, it's one of the spike jumps. So there's this really cool video that I, uh, that I found a little while back. Took the hard path in reflection without knowing. Oof. Um, there's this really cool video that, uh, this guy did where he, uh, was doing a Celeste challenge where, uh, he wasn't able to use the grab button. It's a very cool video. It's by a sample, if you want to take a look at it. Oh, hello again. Of course you're here. Calling it quits, I see. No, I fell. It's over. Oh, farewell. That's probably for the best. The mountain doesn't pull any punches. Yeah, I get it. I wasn't strong enough to climb up your stupid mountain. You can laugh at me again if you want. 
I didn't mean actually laugh. Sometimes you gotta know when to throw in the towel. You'll get over it. You know what? I had a lot of time to think climbing out of this cave. And I'm already over it. That part of me was right. I can't do this. I'll just go home to my sad life and be miserable forever. You clearly, you clearly aren't over it. Shut up, I know. I don't want to give up, but no matter how hard I try, she sabotages me every step of the way. A lot of, a lot of kids come here to climb this mountain, only to give up. It's a shame that you fell. I was starting to think you'd make it. What makes me so special? I've never met so but somebody so angry at themselves. I'm sorry, Granny's. I can't do old Granny voice very well. Honestly, I thought you'd reach the summit just to spite yourself. Gee, thanks. The girl you're talking about. It sounds like she's holding you back. Talk to her. Figure out why she's so scared. You think she's scared? I guess I never thought of it that way. Stop wasting both of our time and ask her. What have you got to lose? Okay, so fun fact, uh, if you didn't know this, you can actually go up the elevator shaft here. And there is a stupidly secret room here that requires you to do uh, some really dumb jumps. I forget how to even do this. Hey, Mega Dragon Star, how are you doing? There we go. Here it is. So yeah, if I remember correctly, these two are from a cancelled, uh, extra okay games game. These two are from Towerfall, I know that much, because I've played Towerfall. And I don't know what this is from, this might also be from that cancelled game. And the box boy in the corner, I don't know who that is either. But yeah, it's just, it's cool. I don't know how to find her. She's a part of you, right? If you look for her, she, it won't, she won't take long to find. So you know about the mountain's power? Of course I know. I live here. I tried to warn you. You need to work on your messaging. A glimpse at the truth is good for people. Even if most can't accept what they see. There's no shame in running back to your car and driving away. Someday you'll be ready, then you'll come back. No. I'm going to see this through. Floating Eyes from another one of their games which was released but didn't sell as well as Celeste? Really? It might- it might have been from one of Maddie's uh, personal projects because I don't know if any of the- if any other, um, games are actually currently, like, under the Extra OK Games brand. Like, I think it's just this, uh, Towerfall and Earthblade. <clears throat> oh, sorry, that was probably very loud. No more running. I thought so. Good luck. How can you stand living here? Isn't it hard to deal with this all the time? It was before Extra OK, but... Yeah, it was bef because, you know, they they started going a as Extra OK after Maddie came out as trans, but... <laughs> it 
It's true, you never really get used to it. But it keeps me sharp. I like that about it. But the mountain is so... confrontational. Sure, it doesn't beat around the bush. Celeste Mountain is a place of healing, dear. The first step of healing is confronting the problem. It's never easy. Tell me about it. So I have a very weird memory of this level. Um, my first playthrough, I actually uh, ended up turning assist mode on in this level. <laughs> Because uh, I got so frustrated at the boss fight. Yeah. Agma from Jumper, Navo from Sky Tour, and Yuri from out there somewhere in both the blue and pink archers from Towerfall Ascension. All from games that were released. I thought that one of them was... I could have sworn that there was something about one of the games not being released, but... Come on. Oh yeah, Lapis, were you here when uh, I said uh, Spoods actually figured out what was wrong with... Um, Spoods actually figured out what was wrong with my uh, text box coding in Game Maker. And you want to know what it was? It's really dumb. You were there. Can I? I'm curious. <laughs> the funny thing is the issue for the issue with it was because um one of the tools that I was using to uh or one of the functions that I was using to make sure that everything was incrementing correctly. Um, had everything set to right align text. And uh, the text alignment without g jumping through extra hoops is a global setting. So, uh, yeah. Looking for me? I thought you were done with me. That was a mistake. I'm sorry. After checking, Skytorn has indeed been dropped. You think you've got it all figured out? You think you don't need me? I said I'm sorry. We need to move past this. Ah. Uh, that's unfortunate. You expect me to trust you? You aren't innocent here either. But I know you're scared. Look, we're at rock bottom. There's no point in fighting. I can keep digging. I could pull us down to the center of the earth. What would be the point? Let's climb out of here. Together. Come close to me and I'll make you regret it. Uh, I have not finished Chapter 9. I have made it past the halfway point in Chapter 9. Catch me jumping directly into the orb. The biggest thing that frustrates me about the fact that on my first playthrough I had to turn on assist mode for this chapter is that I quite literally had to turn on assist mode for the last room of this fight.
and it's a memory that to this day haunts me. Not that there's any shame in using assist mode, it just- it bothers me that I had to use it for literally only the last room. And then I turned it off afterward because I was like, damn. Jumper is available on their old website, and Out There Somewhere is available on Steam for the high price of tw .28 euros right now. How did I bounce off that? <laughs> Gosh, I... Like, okay, so other than that memory of me having to turn on assist mode on this fight... Fight in quotation marks, um... I have memories of doing a modded level that used this, uh, boss. And, uh... Man. Modded levels don't, like... <laughs> Sometimes people need to learn to pull their punches. That was weird. But I do really enjoy doing modded Celeste, it's a lot of fun. I might stream something at some point. you a favor. You aren't a mountain climber. I'm just trying to help you. None of this would have happened if you'd just listened to me. I'll... I highly recommend starting with the, uh... There's a, uh, group of modded levels called the, uh, Spring 2020 mod pack that I very highly recommend starting with, because it's, it's what I started with, and it's got everything sorted in it by difficulty, because it's a giant, like, collaborative, uh, group of mods. Oh, come on, really?
That was entirely my own fault, and that was really dumb. But yeah, I remember the main thing that caused me to, uh, get frustrated, and, uh... ...and stop, like, and have to turn on assist mode, was the... was the feather. There's, there's one section in this level with the feather that is just, like, really brutal. I think it was this room, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was that room. Fine. You win. I guess you don't need me after all. If you want me to go away, I'll try. That's not what I want. Yeah, welcome back, Miss Plutonia. It's such a shame Madeline can't shoot lasers after this chase is over. <laughs> nah, but she gets the ability to dash twice instead. That's not what I want. I need your help now more than ever. Please, let's work together. Work together? You're joking, right? It's okay to be scared. Hug. Laser plus float is better than double dash, though. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I don't know. Have you seen some of the crap you can do with double dashing in this game? Oh, there's a really cool modded level that, um... Uses, um... You can manually set your dash counter in assist mode. Uh, and it uses, uh, triple. Like, you, you get crystals that give you triple dashes instead of double dashes. And it's so good. How did we do that? If we can climb like that, maybe we can still reach the summit. You still want to climb the mountain? Why would we go back up there? It's good to see you two playing nice. Hey, thanks for talking some sense into me earlier. Don't mention it. I'm glad I can still be useful every now and then. Madeline! Madeline, you're okay. I ran down to help, but it looks like you're doing fine. Thanks, Theo. Honestly, maybe that fall was what I needed. Is this the part of you that you were talking about? She's like an adorable goth Madeline. Hi. You are right, Theo. I shouldn't be afraid of her. 
If her and I work together, I still think we can finish the climb. That's so rad. Wait, no. I didn't agree to this. You said we'd talk about things first. You're right. I understand that you're scared, but we both know this is something we want to do. We have to try one last time. Yeah, you got this. I don't know. We were so close and we, uh, fell. The mountain tore us apart. Yeah. Y yeah, that happened. But I have to believe we can put that behind us. I have to believe that we're capable of this. It's not a bad idea. It'll still be difficult, mind you. But I'm amazed you got as far as you did, butting heads like you were. Same, Lapis. I reckon you- you can make it if you cooperate. Okay, I'll try. Can I help? You've already done so much for me. Let me hold your bag at least. Good idea. This won't take long. And now, instead of going on to... Summit? We're going to do the B-side. <laughs> I didn't realize that this, uh... Oh, wait, I see what I'm supposed to do. I didn't realize that the uh, B-side version of this song is called Center of the Earth Mix. No. Oh, come on. I still think that the, uh, the Mirror Temple B-side is gonna be easier. Like, the easiest one for me. I don't remember having too much trouble with Core B-side, but I also... ...don't remember Core B-side very much at all. There we go. Wait, what? Oh. Split about most remixes, but this one you like. I, li I like this remix. I I still think that my absolute favorite one is the uh, B-side remix for Mirror Temple. Just because the B-side Mirror Ticks for... Like, the B-side for Mirror Temple is like... Mmm. It hit different. Honestly, one of my contenders for best song in the entire game.
Oh, this is what we're doing. I will say, these, uh, the bumpers, I've always found to be really annoying when you're trying to use them for precision stuff. Because even the slightest change in your angle can mess up the, uh... It's really funny, um, part of this song very much reminds me of a song from Xenoblade X. I don't know what song from Xenoblade X, but it reminds me of a song from Xenoblade X. The guitar, like this guitar solo. I think it kind of reminds me of the uh, the opening to Melancholia. It also kind of reminds me of, uh, the way that the, the guitar kind of reminds me of the, uh, to be continued theme from Jojo. Despite the, despite the fact that I haven't actually seen Jojo. Or, well, much of Jojo. I've watched a little bit of part one. And I enjoyed what I watched, I just haven't had time to continue it. This B-side's gonna take me a bit, isn't it? Also, that, uh... That little, like... The vocal part also reminds me of the, uh, Primordia... Um... The, the voices in the background of the Primordia theme in Xenoblade X. Oh, come on. I don't know. I know that I'm... I know that I'm probably talking about, uh... I'm talking about a song that many people haven't, uh, even heard. Just because Xenoblade X isn't exactly a... <laughs> no, okay. No shit, uh... 
Nautilus, very similar chanting in the final boss theme to Xenogears. And I mean, like, the final, final boss theme. I don't mean the, uh... I mean the, uh... Versus Ouroboros theme, I think is what it's... Is what the boss is called. Jeez, why is that jump so difficult? Which which game, uh, Miss Plutonia? Oh. I want to replay Xenoblade X, just because, like, I need- I need a fresh perspective on it, because, like, my initial playthrough of Xenoblade X took me actually six years to finish. Actually, probably even more time. I picked it up shortly after release. And, uh... I picked it up shortly after release and played it on and off until early, like, I managed to finish it in prep for, uh, Xenoblade 3 coming out. Actually, I, I managed to finish it in prep for another streamer that I like playing Xenoblade X, so I could play it without worrying about spoilers, and then I realized that, uh, I had basically been spoiled on the entire game, except for side quest stuff, so... Which is where 90% of the story actually is in that game. It's part of the reason that I'm kind of mixed on it. Wow, you need a really solid hit on that bumper. But yeah, like... No joke, Xenogears kind of... Story is meh, but side quest and exploration is amazing. Yeah, that's why I want to play it again, because, like, when I was... the Part of my issue is that when I played it for the first time, my brain... When I... When I played it for the first time, part of my brain was like, Ah, yes, let's finish... <laughs> here's, here's how long I've been waiting to finish Xenoblade X. Uh, or waited to finish Xenoblade X. Um... I've tried to speedrun through Xenoblade X before Xenoblade 2 came out.
but yeah. Gosh, Xenoblade 3 was such a fun stream. I can't wait for the story DLC for that game. But, um... I, I still think, um... My all-time favorite streams that I've ever done was uh, Valhalla and Xenogears. Gosh, I always forget just how difficult some of the platforming challenges are in, uh, in the B-sides. I find it really cool that there's a, uh, there's a hidden room. Th this is just a completely random thought. There's a hidden room in this game in, um, Farewell that requires you to use demo dashing to get into. Which is a thing that you can do by, uh... Essentially, you can dash while crouched. I forget how to do it, but it's like... Y you can get a, a douch, a douch, a uh, crash, wow, fantastic. Um, you can get a crouch dash, and, uh, using that, you can actually squeeze between hitboxes in these spikes, and so there's a section in Farewell where they actually hid a extra little, like, room if you can demo dash between two spikes on the side of the screen. Gosh, you have to be really tight with that, uh, fall there. Just knew about the shortcut in the hotel. Yeah. See, I like I like areas like this. The uh where a lot of it is just like minute changes in your falling position.
Um, come on. Ah, oh, dang it, didn't line that up right. But yeah, Xenoblade X will be an interesting game to stream because it's not the most stream-friendly game in the world. But it's a game that I want to stream at some point. Along with Xenoblade 1 and 2. Because, uh... It's been a hot minute, and I also want to have... I, wa I want to be able to... There's nothing more frustrating to me when I find a content creator that I like, and they have one part of a multi-part series without having the rest of the parts. Oh, that was so close. Like, there's, there's this, uh, group of, uh, there's this group of streamers that I like that streamed through the first four Professor Layton games and haven't gone back to do Miracle Mask or Azran Legacy. There we go. are you supposed to do that? Like that, I guess? Sorry I'm not talking a whole lot, or at least I feel like I'm not talking a whole lot. I'm probably talking more than I realize, but I'm very focused on this. I didn't even jump off of that. really weird. Like, that's weirdly tight. Am I just supposed to try to dash straight forward there? I can't. Otherwise, I get hit. Oh, come on.
Yeah, I I very much don't remember this B-side. I'm definitely doing this incorrectly, but... Wow, what was that bounce game? Thank you. <sighs> Feathers continue to be the bane of my existence. even in basic situations, because I'm stressed. Oh, really? Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Is the game gonna be mean and not respawn that feather bubble? Okay, so... There's no second feather somewhere. And bouncing off of battle in immediately is definitely wrong. See, sometimes it sometimes that gives you invincibility and other times it just doesn't. Ah, okay, I see it. I wonder if Spoods is just gonna make, like, generic thumbnails for this game, or if Spoods is gonna make meme thumbnails for this game. What? 
Thanks for reading that as up diagonal, despite the fact that you literally read it as up, or as just straight, as for like a frame. Why? Why did that turn? Why did that turn like a fucking boat? That makes me really mad. Hey Link V, how are you doing tonight? Or today? Whatever time zone you're in. I'm doing pretty good. Playing some Celeste. When I'm not uh, repeatedly dying to this, I'm reading out the story. Game's trying to make me take back what I said about precision falling segments earlier. Oh, that was so good. Chapter 6 is good for those. Yeah. Oh, we gotta... get a boosted jump off of that. Oh wow, you gotta get like a max distance boosted jump off of that. Wait, what? Was there a thing I missed or? Where does the game expect me to go from there? not like a feather underneath the uh oh there's a kevin block there that i didn't see
There we go. <laughs> okay. That was an interesting interaction. I keep forgetting that I'm not supposed to jump up that. I guess I'm not supposed to jump off of that at full speed either, because it'll fling me into the spikes. I definitely feel like sometimes... The, uh... I feel like sometimes the control stick isn't very good at determining, uh... The control stick isn't very good at determining the diagonals. Because sometimes it, you're very clearly pressing off to the side and it just is like, nah, diagonal. It isn't, but it's better for feather control. Yeah. I think this is the last room as well. Or there might be one more after this. Wow, that's so mean! I very much don't remember that from when I played in it initially. Nope, there's more rooms. Wow, uh, thanks, Bumper. Thanks for just flinging me face first into spikes. Yeah, the bumpers are very janky. Like, they're fine for certain things, but trying to use the bumpers for precision is just... It's a fool's errand. It doesn't work for precision. No matter how hard some modders try to delude themselves into thinking that you can be precise with bumpers...
really funny. I thought I was going to finish this tonight. But I wanted to actually do the side content, so uh, I don't think I'm finishing this tonight. <laughs> Oh, really? One thing that I'm not the huge, the biggest fan of is when levels like this require you to have really fast reaction time. It's like, you know, the platforming's already hard, but then you throw a left, like, you throw a left hook at me right at the very end. Well, I've played through Celeste before. This is like my eighth or ninth playthrough. You wouldn't be able to tell from the gameplay. But I don't usually do the uh, the B or the C sides on return like playthroughs. I think I've only actually done all of the levels minus chapter nine uh, once. I might not have even finished the seasides as well. Come on. Okay, so hang on the wall there to bait the laser out. Good to know. 7C still haunts your dreams. I'm very glad that Chapter 9 doesn't have a B or a C side, because it it is a level that absolutely does not need a harder version. As much as I as much as I love this game, it can be very frustrating at times. Yeah, just dodge me. It's a seaside in theory, just a really long hellish seaside. I've done just slightly past the halfway point in uh, Farewell, or at least the uh, the fake out ending of Farewell. I've made it past that using the uh, the trick that you can do to skip it, to skip the barrier. You know, now that I'm listening to it more, the guitar solo in this also reminds me of Risk of Rain 2. Yeah, I've never finished Chapter 9. I want to, but, like, damn, it's so long. It's so long, and none of the rooms are freebies, either. They're all difficult. Which, pe which piece of information, Luna? Also, hi, Luna. How are you doing?
Why? Why would you put these platforms just the perfect distance away to make them not dashable between? The guitar. Uh, it sounds, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the track from Risk of Rain 2 that I'm thinking about is the one that plays in the Aphelion Sanctuary. But, uh, it also reminds me of the, uh, JoJo To Be Continued guitar. And also a, uh, a chunk of it reminds me of, um, Xenoblade X as well. Some of the music from that. This part right here is very heavily reminding me of, uh, the, uh, Primordia theme. Just like the, the vocal part in the back. That was so good. And sometimes the bumper just decides that you die. It's my favorite mechanic. Let's introduce random number generation into our platforming game. Of course you would launch me at that angle. I know it's not random, it's dependent on the angle that you hit the bumper at, but like... Uh, boy does it feel random sometimes. There we go. for the boost. There we go. Oh, that's the first death count to break 300. Oh, okay. So, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna leave this for tomorrow's stream. But... I wanna show off some of this. Real quick, before we leave. Oh, whoops. Um... I think this is also part of the prologue.
Look at this man. Okay, um, where's the, where's the book? It was right here. So, it's got these little gauges that gauge how difficult the levels are. I've beaten all of these before, it's just I don't have my save file because it was on my old computer. I think... If I remember correctly, this is the one with the fancy, uh, jump crystals. No, this is the one that you're just bouncing off of battle in the entire game. That jump is a bit difficult, but, um, anyway, back to the lobby real quick. Oh, wait, uh, I think it's in the intermediate lobby is the one that I... The, the jumping one is in this lobby, but, uh... What are the names of the levels in this? The book is down here, of course it is. Um... I don't remember which one of these it is. It might be Electrified Resort. Uh, there's one that uses the jellyfish from, uh, Farewell. Using them for, uh, jump boosts. Spirit Spire. Oh, wait. I just thought of another one that I can- that I actually know where it is in the other hub to, uh, show off. It is all the way over here. This is not the right one. And yes, that did say Space Jam Fever Dream. Somebody actually named their level that. And I love it. Here it is. So the trick with this, uh... If you look up at the top of there... It's a light puzzle. I love I love this level. This level's really cool. It's very basic, but it 
It's all about lear it's all about figuring out how to uh, manipulate the light so that you can uh, actually uh, progress. But yeah, I'm not gonna do this whole level, but... I like that they managed to make, like, a little puzzle game thing. Okay, what's blocking stuff currently. Oh wait, yellow needs to be adjusted again. And then blue again. Oh wait. We're, we're busting out the puzzle games at 7 a.m. Every time I... Every time I do something like this, that's like a puzzle, I'm always scared that it's just gonna be me trying to figure out a puzzle for hours on end. I don't actually remember how to do this. Okay, that's how. But yeah, there's a lot of really cool creative ideas with these. And Everest is the mod loader, by the way. Or, well, technically speaking, I think Everest is the launcher that it uses. I think that the, uh, the actual mod loader now is called Olympus. But yeah, it's also really cool how uh, certain switches will actually stay pressed between uh, deaths. Like that green switch that I hit in the other room stayed stayed uh, pressed so it wouldn't softlock me. But yeah, that's some of the, uh, I've only ever beaten levels in these first two lobbies. I don't think I've ever even tried any of the ones here, and these ones are quite literally impossible for me. <laughs>
Okay. So. Um. That's going to be it for me. Um, Lapis, if you're here, do you have a raid recommendation? I guess Lapis... Uh Either isn't here or isn't able to chat. Um. <laughs> this might this might be an unfortunate choice of game to raid someone while playing, but uh, let's just raid DG. DG is always fun to raid. DG is playing Fatal Frame. <laughs> the opposite of a chill time. But yeah, um, I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, I hope to see you again. I will be streaming more of this tomorrow. Yeah, I think. Uh, actually, wait. Uh, Jimbles, Spoods, and I'm might be thinking to do Terraria. I don't know at this point, but either way, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I uh, hope you have a good one. Take care.